Good evening, I am the Dungeon Master, and I will be hosting this campaign of Tyranny of Dragons. What you are about to witness is the use of AI technology combined with Roll20 and the imagination of a British ginger. May God have mercy on his soul. Good evening, gentlemen. I trust this environment will suit for the foreseeable campaign. Ah, this is much nicer than that basement. No offense, Ben. None taken. I actually agree this feels more fitting for our next campaign. I'm confused. What's new? Yeah, yeah. Aren't we still in the middle of a campaign? That is correct, Joe. However, Alex needs some time to get the next session ready, and I have a campaign I've been eagerly wanting to try out, so for now. Would you grace me with your time and take part in this while he works on Fate of the Votes? He'll be in touch when he's ready for your return. Yeah, that sounds like fun. It'll be great to try out something other than a cleric. Wait. Does this mean I get to finally be a giant? Well, maybe not a full giant. How about a Goliath? I'll take it. Screw you, Ben. Whatever, dude. I'm just relieved you didn't ask to be- Can I be Jewish? Are we really doing this again? Sorry, Donald, but you've just agreed to be a Goliath. Besides, Jewish isn't a race in Dungeons and Dragons. Fine, I'll stick with Goliath. I'm also going to be a barbarian and swole. I hear it's all the craze these days. I don't know why. I saw that Harry Spotter video like a thousand times. And it, I think it'll work for my character. You can call me Swole Nald Stomp. Okay, that's fine. But before we get into your characters, let me tell you a little about the campaign. Tyranny of Dragons is an adventure that covers two tales, Horde of the Dragon Queen and Rise of Timat. It is set in the Forgotten Realms on Farron's western shore, the Sword Coast. The bulk of this adventure will take place on the stretch between Baldur's Gate and Neverwinter. You'll be starting at level one, and ending around level 15. You all with me so far? Seems straightforward enough. Sounds good to me. I think even Sleepy Joe will be able to follow this. But seriously, this sounds pretty dope so far. Yeah, this sounds fun. What else do we need to know? Only a few things. As characters in this world, you are aware of a group known as the Cult of Dragons. They have existed for centuries, and although their existence is known, their motives for what they do are not. All you really know about them is that they revere evil dragons and they have members in almost every city. When the adventure begins, you will be traveling as a group towards the town of Greenest, which is located at the very south of the Sword Coast. You will need to have a reason as to why you would be visiting this town. I can help you with some suggestions from the module if you cannot think of any. Dragonborns, kobolds, and tieflings are banned races as they are associated with the cult of dragons and therefore would give your characters a particularly hard time. You will need to decide on your subclass today when creating your character, even though you are starting at level one. And finally, you may refer to me as the dungeon master. My word is law. I will allow asking for clarifications and confirmations, but any confrontations will swiftly see to your expirations. Do I make myself clear? Yeah, we got it. You're the boss. Now, can I finish my character? By all means, continue. Bitching, are we rolling for stats? You may if you want to, but I will not be allowing re-rolls. This also goes for if you decide to roll for HP on your level ups. Can we go between rolls and take the average? Or do we need to decide on that now? So long as you tell me beforehand, I'll allow you to swap between rolls and the average. OK, then I will be rolling for my stats. What the heck? I was just about to do it, and you go and sneak up on me like a damn drone strike. Can't help it if you're slow, Donald. Ooh, you want beef? Fine with me. Let's see those rolls, Barack. The first roll of the campaign. You got this, Barack. Get a three, 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 get a three. Hell fucking yeah. Sweet 16, baby. Fucking rigged. And a 14, looking good so far. Ha! Ah, it's going down. Still in the positive. What was that, Trump? I can't hear you over my massive numbers. Seriously, all double digits? These look great, Barack. Ha, there it is. OK, that's pretty good. I can work with this. I shall be a wizard, and my race will be rock gnome. Be careful that I don't step on you. Now it's my Can I go next? Motherfucker. Sure, Joe. Let's see the rolls. Off to a great start. I've got a good feeling about this. Could have been worse. 
Smelling some fudging going on? You're just mad I'll have better rolls than you. These are looking really good so far. Oh wow, 315s is amazing. That is some sticky fudge. This works for me. I'm gonna be a human fighter. And guess what, Donald? What? I too will be swole. The only thing that's swole about you is that tumor growing in your brain. But whatever, do what you want. Now I'm gonna trump you all with my awesome- Rolling the dice! Of course the Jew sneaks in and steals my moment. You got this, Ben. 13 is good. When it's not 14, sure. Bad luck, Ben. I can do better, I'm just warming up. Another 13. Not the best, but at least it's just one low number. What was that you were just saying? I can make it work. More double digits. Nearly there, dude. They're not terrible. Yeah, they could have been way worse. It'll be fine. I'm going to be a high elf cleric. Really? With those stats, are you sure? Trust me, I've got it covered. Okay, Donald, you're up. Now's the time to show you all how it's done. Heart of the cards or some anime shit. Well, I'm just warming up. You'll see. Boom, baby. Give me that 16. Not seeing anything too special so far, Donald. Kiss my ass. 17. Wow, that's fantastic. Of course it is. My godlike roles are unmatched. Oh, damn. These are really good. Not exactly breaking records, but still nice. It's just what I need to be swollenalled. And I've decided on the subclass. If you'll allow it, Dungeon Master, it's Unearthed Arcana, Path of the Giant. Hmm, that could be interesting for the story. Very well, I shall allow it. Then behold, peasants, to the glory that is swole gnawed stomp. Look at those magnificent nipples and the kick-ass stats. No enemy will be able to withstand my might or my throbbing rage. Your throbbing rage? I know what I said. Whatever, here's my character sheet. Bama the Wise. I've included my spell list as well. This has us covered for now. And I will take inspiration from our other campaign and take Chronergy Magic. How about Bam Bam the Smooth Wise? Why? It just sounds better is all. I'm gonna stick with Bam of the Wise, thanks. Can my character call you Bam Bam? I guess so. Who's your character? You can call me Gormley Whitebeard because I am named Gormley and I have a white beard. I will take on the samurai subclass to aid in protecting my team and striking fear into our enemies. Where did you get the name Gurmley from? It was in that movie. One with the gay wizard and the gay little man and the super gay guy with long blonde hair, legless. Hold up, are you talking about Lord of the Rings? Nah, not that. It was called Lord of the Cock Rings. There's a dwarf in it who takes the one cock ring and shoves it up. We don't need to hear any more, Joe. In fact, I shall show you all my character sheet now. Sharpen Fact Spitter. I have already written up my sheet and still need to add in my subclass information. I'll be taking the Order Domain with my deity being Tyr. I'll gain additional spells command and heroism, proficiency in persuasion and heavy armor. Also an ability called Voice of Authority, which I think works well as I'll be spitting straight facts all day long. Funny you mentioned spitting. In that movie, they never spit. Are we done now, Dungeon Master? Not quite yet. I still need a reason for why you are going to Greenest. Because you told us to. It needs to be a little more than that, Joe. If none of you has a reason, then may I suggest something from the list in my book? So do we just roll a d10 or can we pick something? It is entirely down to you. There's so many choices. Hmm, I'm not sure which to pick. Maybe I'll roll for mine. I may need some help choosing. I think I know which one I want. Perhaps you all need a little time to decide. Very well. When we next meet for session one, I expect you all to have chosen a campaign bond. Until next time, gentlemen. So it looks like I'll be asking for your help as well, viewers. Please have a look at the table provided and pick an option for our characters. Options with the highest like count will secure the campaign bond. Just make sure to state who the bond is for. We'll also put up a few polls as well. Thank you for taking the time out of your day to watch this. Consider hitting that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you don't miss a thing. Session one is not too far behind. We'll see you soon.